Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. It's your girl, Bri Bri. And today is a story on how to take a pregnancy test, okay? For all my young girls out there, for anybody who has never taken a pregnancy test, pregnancy test before. The best way to take a pregnancy test is get the expensive ones. Don't try to get no dollar cheap pregnancy test, let me tell you, okay? Half the time, they don't really be accurate. It's the one, I, I believe they're called Equate. It's like a Walmart brand. It's not too expensive, but it ain't cheap. But it comes with two in there. Um, You should probably buy two packs, just to be sure. I mean, one pack should do you justice, but two packs just to be sure, okay? When you buy it, make sure that it doesn't have like an expired date and stuff like that, okay? You go home. I know when you watch the movies and stuff, you always see like people get like a pee stick and they pee on it. That's not how that works, baby. <laughs> Don't try it like that. You will get a very inaccurate test, okay? You want an accurate test? You take a cup, like a plastic cup that you throw away. Not one that you drink out of, a plastic cup that you throw away. And that's what you pee in. You pee in the cup, okay? Now, they have the one where you take the little serum thing and you drip it down on the test. And they have the one where you just wet the bottom of the stick for a certain amount of minutes and let it sit in there until your results pop up. Okay? The one that you drip on the test, you only need two drops. So, you don't need a big amount of pee. You don't need a lot. And you don't need to do more than two jobs. Do not do more than what the instruction tell you because you will get an invalid reading. Okay? So, okay. Once you pee in a cup, immediately, if it's a serum drops, you take the serum drop, you dip it in the cup, kind of like you sucking it up, and you drip two drops. Okay? Once you drip those two drops, all right, leave it there for however many minutes the test say. It normally is about, I would say about 10, 15 minutes. Not long. Okay? If you have to stick it in the cup, take the thing, stick it in the cup. You can stick both of them up at the same time. You can stick all four at the same time. It's better to do it at once due to the fact that you want to do it while your pee is warm. Because if your pee starts turning cold, it's not going to be very accurate. It has to be warm. So you stick them in there. You wait for however many minutes it takes. And you take the test. Okay? I advise you to have moral support when you're taking this test because it's a very emotional test, okay? You have your baby daddy there, your mama, whoever is closest to you that you cherish and that you trust with your secret, all your business, your sister, whoever. It takes a lot of energy out of you to take the test and it takes, it's very nerve wracking because you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I don't know, I don't know if I'm ready. And all these thoughts that's running through your head, especially if it's your first child. So, if you're pregnant, you know. Also, ladies, if you don't know and you want to check if your period's on, they have ovulation tests, okay? This is just a female talk for all my ladies, I guess, who never had to have these talks with, you know, a woman before. And your mom doesn't really, because most moms, they don't really tell you. Like, my mom ain't taught me. I had to learn on my own. She pretty much threw a book at me and was like, huh, read it. This is what happened. Learn. If you are a female, you know, that's not how it works. You go through different things. You want somebody to be able to talk to about it. You might need a better understanding on it. Okay. Another thing, ladies. If your pH balance 
meaning that you get this little odor down there. And after you take a shower, you don't take you just take a shower, you come out you're smelling like you ain't take a shower. Most likely it's either due to your pH balance being off. That sometimes happen naturally just from eating certain foods. Anything can pretty much throw your pH balance off. It's nothing you can really too too much do about it. But it is a way you can fix it. Okay. Most doctors recommend a so it's called Vagisil. It's like a, a body wash kind of for that area to keep your pH balance to get it back pretty much to get you back where you was. Sometimes the smell could be other things. That's why you must always, always, always go to your OBGYN every six months. Don't just go when you're pregnant or when you want birth control pill. Go to get checked up, okay? Gotta stay safe. Vagisil is the pH balance body wash is the best thing to use if your pH balance has been taken off. You don't know because you'll start getting older. No matter how much you take a shower, you always have older and you don't have no STD or you know you're clean, then majority of the time it's pH violence. You can always go to your OBGYN and double check to make sure it is. I would recommend to do that before you buy the vagin saw. But if you don't want nobody in your business, cause sometimes it's embarrassing, you can get it over the counter at Walmart, CVS, pretty much anywhere, okay? All right. So, once you do that, you take care of yourself. All right. Anybody that's on their period, if you're a heavy bleeder, I recommend buying the maxi, maxi, maxi pads. Don't buy them little pads and, you know, you bleeding out and it's, it, it ain't going to work for you, baby girl. It's going to go right through. Okay. Yeah, it's just going, it's it's not going to happen. Another thing. Try, try, try as much as possible to eat a lot of good vegetables and fruits because that's what keeps your pH balance where it's supposed to be at. You can't help when it goes off, but if you want to try to at least maintain it, that is how you do it. All right. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Any questions you have, comment below and I will surely answer them or any videos you recommend on knowing about any topics you want to know about, any reactions you want. Like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.